breaking news tonight. The suspected Chinese surveillance balloon was brought down by the U.S. military this afternoon. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Hannah Falcon. A U.S. official confirmed the balloon was shot down by a single missile this afternoon over the Atlantic Ocean. For the past several days, the balloon drifted over the U.S. You may have seen it over Missouri if you looked up yesterday. Earlier today, President Joe Biden told reporters, quote, we're going to take care of it, end quote. The president said forces waited until it drifted over the ocean to keep the balloon from harming anyone on land. Now, recovery efforts for parts of the balloon are underway. ABC 17's Abigail Landwehr joins us live in studio after speaking with part of the University of Missouri's Climate Center. Abigail, this balloon was much larger than the regular research balloons. Hannah, that's right. After an hour of about when the balloon was shot down, I spoke with John Bongard, who launches and surveys research balloons with the University of Missouri. But the size of this balloon and the ability to remotely control it is unlike anything he's ever seen. I told them to shoot it down. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. But the recommendation They said to me, let's wait till the safest place to do it. Officials say fighter jets out of Virginia shot down the balloon around 2.30 today over the Atlantic Ocean. So obviously whatever they're, they're flying up there um, is a lot more um, intricate and, and technical than what we're doing with ours. University of Missouri PhD candidate John Bongard tells me in the past eight years, the university has never gotten their balloons back. The balloons are at the will of the wind until they burst and sometimes deploy parachutes. But it doesn't matter. The data is fed back to the team about an hour after launch. The university's balloons carry data sensors for different things like temperature, pressure, humidity, wind speed, or direction. That data can be used for research on severe storms or big changes in weather. And at 30 to 40,000 feet, the university balloons can inflate to the size of a car or a small house. The surveillance balloon was first spotted in Montana, visible at 60,000 feet. Ours aren't nearly as big as what um, we've seen over overhead here in the last day or so. It's still not clear what sort of information is being recorded by the balloon, but the size of the balloon could be reflective of how much technology is attached. To think that we can control them is, is kind of, um, it would normally be a neat thing, but in this case, it's kind of terrifying. <laughs> and officials say the debris field of the burst balloon is over seven miles wide. Thank you, Abigail. The Pentagon is working on recovering parts of the balloon and will work with the FBI to analyze what was found. The recovery operation is expected to wrap up within the next few days.